Y'all, them some hard working men out there. I'm telling you, they laying that uh, fiber optic. And I had uh, came out here earlier, right around lunchtime, and honey, they had sat out there under my shade trees and laid back in these little shaded areas. And there's one over there on that side of my yard. And honey, they had hunched up against that trunk of that tree and sat right there and ate their lunch and laid there for a minute, let that cool air blow on them. I'm telling you, them shade trees. And see, that's why I pray for, when you hear me praying for men, you know, you out here doing this hard work, out here in this sun. Oh my God. Appreciate that nature, the shade of trees and that cool air blowing, honey. Yes, sir. Uh, they've been out here since about um about nine o'clock this morning. They doing it, y'all. They doing it. They are doing it. See, they done dug all that dirt up to to drop that line, and they put it on top of a plastic tarp. The dirt. So all they got to do is roll that dirt right back into that ground, into that hole, and top it off with a um, top it off with the grass. It's neat how they do it. They shoveling it back down in that that uh, hole down there. And then he gonna take that that tarp and pull it and roll it. Almost like when you get a rug and they uh, roll that, you know, that plastic part, you, you pull that plastic that's wrapped around that rug and if you pull it right, it'll lay it right out flat. I'm telling you, you can learn stuff watching folk. Just, you know, out of curiosity. <laughs> yep. See how he pulling that, that tarp and just rolling that dirt right in that hole. That's neat. And see, they've already done that. See where that pole is sticking up? See, they've already done that spot. And then there's another spot they did down there. And you can't even tell they've been there. And after it rained real good, it'll blend right on in like ain't nothing happened. Yep. Man, you know I'm watching. <laughs> Instacart haul a day. I do it once a week now. Um, I saw Large Family Love uh, with um, the green tea watermelon. I was like, oh, I want to try it. I want to try it. 
Of course, I stocked up on some more Powerade. This is my jam now, y'all. This is my jam. I still got a few left from last week. I think I would drink six. I think I would drink like one a day. So I got a couple of left. But I love the grape flavor. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I got some cheese. I got some uh, strawberry cream cheese spread for the bagels back there. I got some more cottage cheese. I'm really liking the cottage cheese. It's not really bothering my stomach too bad. And I'm like I said, I mix it with pears or either uh, peaches. But I, when I was on the Instacart, I was looking at this. This popped up with the uh, cottage cheese. And it's already mixed or it's already got two compartments. So it's got the cottage cheese and the fruit. And that's how I pretty much eat it when I, you know, eat it out of the regular tub. But I said, you know what, let me try it. These were like uh, on sale for a dollar and 25 cents, I want to say. But anyway, so I got one in peach and one in pineapple. Again, they're the bagels. And I needed some more bread, um, some jumbo eggs. And I was feeling it, y'all. I know. Feeling it. I, I'm in a pizza mode. So I got me um, French bread pizza. I love Totino's, so I got me some Totino's. You can just, you know, throw a couple of these in the oven or the microwave, and that's a good little lunch with some uh, a side salad of slice up some cucumbers. I'm going to eat pickles with mine. And I'm going to be making this um, with a, um, you know, marinara sauce. Uh, and, of course, I got some cheese and stuff. And here are the bread and butter pickle chips i was out i was like oh no and then tacos for next week and i saw this pina colada by tropicana i thought oh yeah let me snatch it up but the haul wasn't very big because i've got still got some vegetables and because uh, i've been eating a lot of kale so i'm gonna finish off that bag tonight actually i'm gonna fix me if i don't do it tonight i'm gonna do it tomorrow night i've got some cube steak out I'm going to do cube steak and kale. And then I need to slice up and use that sweet potato over there in my little stand over there. But anyway, this is the Instacart for today. Hey, hey, what you got to say? Okay, y'all, right, I forgot I had some broccoli left. I said, let me go ahead on and use that because I got that last Thursday. So I need to go on and finish off that bag. I've been on a, I told y'all, y'all, a broccoli and a green bean kick. I got a little EVOO in the pan. I've already seasoned my uh, cube steak. I put pepper and season all on it. That's it. Both sides. Pepper and season all. I'm going to put uh, some of this chicken breader on it. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. So it'll be give me a little gravy. And I'm going to cut up some onions in it. And look, dinner's going to be done. As easy as one, two, three. I want to go ahead on and use the rest of it. It's just a little bit left. So I said... Who cares if it's steak? We're going to make it smothered in gravy. <laughs> All right, y'all. We want to try it. Yes, we do. We don't want to wait. Not for you. I know I have to try it, y'all. I already shook it up. Oh, I've got ice. OMG, that is good. That is excellent. Y'all need to try that. Try, try, try. You just might like it. Yes, honey. Yes, Tropicana. All right, y'all. Let's flip it. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. I'm going to pour some heavy whipping cream in it and a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to go ahead on and cut my onions up, baby. That's going to be a smothered cube steak with onions and gravy, baby. Hey y'all, I just cut these onions up. I had um, a half of a small, like a quarter piece of an onion left. And I thought that's perfect. I can put it right in here. 
and let these onions cook up in that goodness at the bottom of that thing. And then I'm going to make me some gravy. Gravy, gravy. Hey, hey, yeah. All right, y'all. Pour some heavy whipping cream in this bad boy. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little of this RG seasoning. But anyway, it'll cook down, y'all. And get a nice little gravy going. And baby, we're going to cover that up. And uh, yeah, we got us some a grilled. I mean, we got us some cube steak with gravy.